Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the error code CE105469-5 when something went wrong on your PlayStation 5. So let's go ahead and jump the video right now. So with this error code, it seems like it can be very broad with the different things it actually affects. But I'm going to go ahead and show you a bunch of different steps to possibly fix this. So if I press the PlayStation button, and I go to download slash uploads. If I go to my uploads right here and I cancel and delete all my uploads and try re-uploading whatever my video clip is or to Twitter or YouTube, this could possibly fix that problem. And the same thing for like any kind of downloads that I'm doing as well. Let's say I got an update for Grand Theft Auto. If I press X on this, I can go ahead and just cancel and delete the download and then just reprompt the download by manually going to the game. So I can go over the game, press options on it, and go to check for update. And I could also delete the game, go over to my game library, my collection right here, and just simply re-download the game. Also, to prevent any kind of upload errors in the future, go to settings and go on down to captures and broadcasts, and then turn off auto upload. And you won't have the exclamation mark by your uploads then when you get an error for it. Now under here, let's go on over to users and accounts, and then go on down to other. And then try restoring the licenses just for your games and applications. It says if you become unable to use content for downloaded games from the store, there might be a problem with the licenses for the contents. And this should only take like two or three minutes to go ahead and complete. But if there is like a lock symbol by your game, or you do get like some sort of error downloading, this could fix that. And sometimes this error can involve not being able to install a game. So if we go up to network here and go down to settings and then go to set up internet connection, go to your currently connect internet, press options on it, then go to advanced settings, go to DNS settings and switch this to manual and type in for the primary DNS 8.8.8.8. .8 then for the secondary DNS, type in 8.8.4.4. Then go to the MTU settings and switch this to manual and type in 1472. Then go to OK and it'll reconnect to the internet. Now let's go ahead and press the PlayStation button, open up the quick menu, and then go to power and completely turn off your PlayStation 5, close all games and apps, and turn off your PS5. So when you do this, there will be no light on your light bar now. And we're going to launch into safe mode. Okay, so with our PlayStation 5 completely turned off and there's no light on the light bar here, go ahead and hold down the power button. You will hear that one beep initially, and then you will hear another beep like 5 to 10 seconds later. Now, when you hear the second beep, go ahead and let go and find a USB cable and connect it to the front USB slot, just like this, and then plug in your controller to operate the safe mode menu. So let's plug this in. And when it lights up, we can press the PlayStation button and it should turn teal and we can operate the menu with the D-pad now. Now there's two things under here that we can go ahead and try. Let's go on down to option number five, clear cache and rebuild database. So let's go to option number one, clear system software cache. And this will be equivalent to unplugging your PlayStation from the wall for about one to two minutes, which you could also try. And then let's go down to option number two, rebuild database. And it says this may take a few hours to rebuild the database. My experience only takes a few minutes. But if you are having any kind of like installing or copying issues with your solid state drive, this should go ahead and fix that. So restart your PlayStation a few times and then give me an estimated amount of time of how long it's going to take. But go ahead and try one of these steps. And if this video did indeed help you out, go ahead and leave it a big thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.